Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to talk a little bit about lead derivatives and extrinsic curvature within the context of the ADM formalism, uh, which is within the context of quantum gravity. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this kind of content. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to. And also make sure to go onto my Patreon page if you want to support the channel, get the notes, and also you can become a member on YouTube as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So we are talking about the Lie, Lie derivatives and extrinsic curvature, and today I want to try to explain this in a way that's relatively easy, and we're going to go through some straightforward derivations um, to enlighten us about a few things before we move on to a few more complicated things regarding the Palatini action. So. Uh, oftentimes, uh, when we think of coordinate transformations, we often associate this uh, um, with a change in coordinate variables. Right? So I will always catch myself writing typos with a change in coordinate variables. For spherical coordinates, uh, the transformation takes um, us from x, y, z coordinates to r, theta, azimuthal coordinates and we can do this for any set of arbitrary coordinates um, and I don't know why I have this however here and so to picture this imagine you're just an observer at point P on some manifold right and so that point P on you could be point P on a spherical manifold you could be point P on a non-spherical manifold but this has positive curvature this thing has negative curvature but you could be standing at point P and you can be perceiving uh, something in terms of spherical coordinates or you can be perceiving the same thing but in a different set of coordinates, right? So in, th in this case, you're looking at spherical coordinates. In this case, you're looking at things in non-spherical coordinates, right? So this is a, a monkey saddle, I think is what it's called. Uh, but the idea here that I'm trying to illuminate with this observer is that an observer can observe things in terms of different coordinates. And so the thing and the physics, right, the, the physics that we want to get to is physics that is invariant under a transformation in these coordinate systems. And that is to say that it doesn't matter how you observe something. The underlying physics stays the same. Okay, so this guy standing at point P can be looking at spherical coordinates or negative curvature cur coordinates um, on these manifolds. But the point is that the physics, uh, the underlying physics is gonna stay the same. So how exactly do we sort of transfer ourselves from one coordinate system to the other? Typically we've associated this with a simple coordinate transformation. But we can complicate things a little bit, and we'll see why it's necessary to complicate things a little bit. We're going to define this thing called a push-forward operation. A push-forward operation is something that looks a little something like this, right? So our typical matrix, or the thing that is uh, pushing this transformation forward, is this guy right here. And then we have vectors at each space on each manifold, okay? And so we have a tangent space at point P here and a tangent space at point P here. And the tangent space at point P here, the vector might look like V mu here, so V mu at P. However, uh, V might be different uh, in this tangent space. Even though the, uh, that you're at the same, you're at the point P and but you're using different coordinate systems. And the whole idea here is that this object here is the push forward operation Right, so this thing operates on this and will give us this, okay, as a result. So let's, so likewise, we can construct a pullback operation, right? So the pullback operation for a covector, right, is going to look something like this, okay? Where, again, we have the transformation, but uh, we're summing over mu instead of alpha, and um, here we get, uh, alpha and the denominator. Okay, so the idea here is that we define, we, we're defining a push forward operation and a pull back operation. Okay, to be able to compare a vector uh, in one manifold, 
in one manifold to a vector in another manifold, we need to pull the tensor, evaluate it at a new point um, uh, P back to the point P and compare it with the original tensor evaluated at point P, right? So the new point is going to be uh, at P, right? So this is, but this is a new coordinate transformation at P, okay? And so here, so here's what we're doing. So we have a tensor at P, okay? And this is, we're comparing this thing, right? So we're pulling back, right? So we pull the tensor evaluated at new point P back to the end point, right? So this is a pullback of this tensor and we're comparing it with this tensor at P, okay? So this thing here is on, is here, right? Um, 